Hey gang, David Henry from Inspire Tennis. First and foremost, I'd like to wish all of you a very happy new year. Happy 2011. Hope it will be a very safe, prosperous, and healthy one for each of you. I'm going to talk in a second here about measuring string, but before I do that, I want to pull out my uh, most recent issue of Racket Sports Industry Magazine. I got this in the mail a couple of weeks ago. Um, they have the Best of the Year Awards, and um, the Stringer of the Year for 2010 is Tom Perry from Pacific. And uh, Tom is a Facebook friend of mine, so I was able to reach out to him directly when this came out about a week or so ago and congratulate him. But now I would like to do so publicly through this uh, video on my blog and YouTube. So congratulations to Tom Perry, RSI Magazine's Stringer of the Year. Okay. I want to talk about measuring string, okay, and the reason I'm talking about this is because um, time is money when stringing, so you want to string as quickly as possible. Now, as I've always said throughout my DVD course that I produce and throughout any other videos that I have out here on my blog and YouTube, I always stress quality over speed, always. Always better to do a quality string job than it is to do a quick string job. But where the magic really happens is when you can do a high quality string job and also do it very quickly. Because again, when you're stringing rackets for um, for profit, for money, then um, time is money. You know, if you can string a racket and get, get that out the door in 20 minutes or 25 minutes or so, that's a lot better than if you're doing it in 45 minutes. Again, assuming that you're always doing a quality string job, okay? And one area when I first started stringing that would always take me so much time to, um, to get set up was, was measuring string. So measuring a short side or uh, if I was doing a two-piece job, measuring out enough string for my mains and crosses, okay? Um, and I had a tape measure here that I would lay out across my table and I'd lay out the tape measure and then I'd, I'd stretch the string out and get three feet and three more. And it, it just took a while. I mean, it, was, it, was, it worked for me and it was accurate and, and everything was fine, but it just took a while, okay? And so, um, Something that I've been doing um, ever since I figured this out to speed things along a little bit was measure string using my body, okay? And let me explain. So, first of all, what I did was I took my tape measure and with, my, with the uh, end of the tape measure right between my thumb and index finger, I put my arm out as far as it'll go, straight out, and pull to three feet over here, where, where, where it's three feet on my left side of my body, right side of the screen for you. And, and the three foot mark is right at the edge of my body here, so I know that's three feet. The two feet mark is right here underneath my shoulder on, on, my, uh, on my right arm, and then the one foot mark is just a little bit inside of my elbow. So I know now where all those marks are on my body. So I don't have to get my tape measure out when I'm measuring string. So for example, let's assume that I need to measure out 10 feet for a short side um, of a racket that I'm doing. So I would take the string and I would go put, put it again, the tip of the string between my thumb and index finger, extend my arm all the way out, and then I know right at the edge of my body, as I said, that's three feet. So three, six, nine, and then another foot, 10. So I got about 10 feet of string, so I've got my short side all measured out, okay? Now I did that fairly uh, slow for illustrative purposes of the video, but if I'm doing it myself and I gotta measure out uh, 10 feet of string rather quickly, I'll grab the tip and I go three, six, nine, and about 10. Okay, and I get, get it in a matter of seconds, I've got my short side measured out and I'm good to go. So, just a little tip that I wanted to pass on to all you stringers out there, if you're looking for ways to speed up the overall time of a string job, um, that is one area that you can do to improve things. So, um, that's all I have for today. Thanks for checking in.